Hey, this is Matthew. Okay, today we're going to focus on the problems of the flood, the Great Flood. Um, I'm not even going to go into how, the, uh, how Noah built the ark and how he got the animals and cared for them, because that's just useless, and we all know that that could not have happened. I'm just going to focus just on the science, like uh, the book The Genesis Flood did. Okay, first off, we're going to look at where all the water came from. The four models are proposed. The first one is the vapor canopy, can canopy sorry, which, which was proposed in the Genesis Flood by Wickham and Morris. Um, it says that the water from the flood came from a canopy of vapor that was suspended over the earth. Uh, there are four fundamental problems with this. First of all, this means that the earth would have been vastly warmer pre-flood because water vapor is a greenhouse gas and enough water to cover the earth's tallest mountains were held as vapor in the atmosphere, the earth would have been fried. Or alternatively, it would have blocked out the sunlight and therefore would have had the, the earth would have been significantly cooler, much cooler than it is now. Secondly, there is no scientific way that all that water vapor could have fallen at once. It just is not possible. Third, how the water vapor get up there in the first place? Fourth, that much water would have raised the atmospheric pressure significantly, raising the uh, nitrogen and oxygen oxygen levels to toxic levels. There would have been enough vapor uh, to form nine kilo, uh, kil kilometers of liquid when condensed, and therefore the vapor would have weighed as much as nine kilometers of water. The pressure at the Earth's surface, where Noah and his family lived, would have e would be equal to one atmosphere, plus the weight of nine kilometers of um, water per unit area. Uh, this is equivalent to the pressure of 9 kilometers deep in the water, and each 10 meters of water is roughly equivalent to 1 atmosphere, so the pressure would have been about 900 atmospheres. That's incredible. The second uh, model is the hydroplate, which was proposed by Walt Brown. It says that the water came from a water table 10 miles below the surface of the Earth and was released in an eruption and fell as rain. Uh, there's one problem with this because you don't need to, need to go into the other one, the other problems. Um, the rate of temperature increase as you go down to the, uh, through the crust is about 30 degrees Celsius per kilometer. 10 miles is about 16.1 kilometers, and that means that the approximate temperature 10 miles down is about 483 degrees Celsius and about 901 degrees, uh, 901.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Water boils at 100 degrees Fahrenheit. There is no way that that could have possibly been a water table down there. And if it were still water vapor, vapor, as it came out of the surface, it would literally burn the skin off of Noah and the entire ark. So that's that didn't ha That's not what happened. Um, the third model is the comet model proposed by Kent Hovind. Um, he says that a comet came and melted, and that's where all the water come came from. First of all, there's no way that there was a comet with enough mass to cover the Earth's tallest mountain with water. Just doesn't work. Second of all, the atmosphere, i.e. the friction, would have turned it into the vapor, into vapor before it even got through the atmosphere. End of story. The fourth and final um, model is runaway subduction, which was proposed by John Baumgartner. He says that the, all the water, f all the ocean floors were subducted, and uh, this caused magma to replace it and boil the oceans, causing rain. First of all, subduction is where one plate of the Earth's crust is forced below another plate and is there's therefore melted. What he decides to leave out is that on the other end of the plate, like the the plate, the end of, is not being subducted, uh, is where more crust is being made. So therefore, the entire ocean would have not been subducted. Um, two, Baumgartner admitted himself in 1990 that this would not work without miracles. Second of all, or third of all, sorry. Um, according to Matsumura in '97, uh, the, the thermal diff diffusivity, the thermal diffusivity of the Earth would have had to increase 10,000 fold to get the rates that Baumgartner proposed. And fourth, melting the oceans would have had would have made the same amount of rain as the oceans post melt or pre melt. Sorry, therefore it would have just refilled the oceans and no flood would have would have occurred because all water goes to the lowest point in the ocean basin to the lowest point. Thanks for li listening. Um, my next video will focus mainly on geology because that's uh, more than 10 minutes worth of video. Tune in for part two. Thanks for listening.